Hi, my name is Aubrey Adams, and I'm here with my two friends. They are Pueblo natives. So we're in Colorado, and we've been talking about the legalization of marijuana, and they were sharing with me that they witnessed a change in our community after the legalization of marijuana. So if you want to start and say, do you, my question is, do you think the legalization of marijuana has benefited our community, or have you seen a change? Unfortunately, no. I, I've seen a very negative impact to the city. Um, areas, childhood, uh, my childhood neighborhoods that I would walk home from school as 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 um, an elementary student um, now is areas that I'm mean, not even comfortable driving in anymore. Um, you know, the number of of, of out of state people that we have here, uh, the amount of crime that we've seen, um, you know, I, I was really hopeful that there would be a really good balance, enough regulation on it to, so that we could see some benefits out of it, see both sides of it, um, and unfortunately we just haven't seen that at all. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's just, um, and, and it just every passing day it seems to be getting worse and worse. Um, so, so yeah, it's extremely disappointing and it's very sad, very mm -hmm. sad to see very what's sad. happening to our, to our city and, uh, and, and where it's headed. So, uh, people from other states watch my videos, and I do them to give a voice to the citizens mm -hmm. because I feel like we've gotten a bad rap. The heart of Pueblo is not being represented anymore. We're bombarded with this out-of-state influences, drug investors here taking over our towns, so the, the, the citizens don't get a voice anymore. Mm -hmm. So to the people in other states or other communities or even other countries, because Canada's thinking of legalizing and so is Australia, would mm -hmm. you recommend that they legalize marijuana? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. Um, you know, uh, it's it's one of those that I think everyone saw the dollar signs, and that's what was their first reaction to it of of, of legalizing it, mm -hmm. and and the amount of regulation around it that wasn't established um, really just created this free for all that um, has been extremely detrimental to our city. Not ju mm -hmm. I mean, not just our city, our, our state, because um, mm -hmm. you know we we travel a lot just within the state and outside of the state, and you can see the differences. Um, you can see the differences, and um, so I would I would highly recommend um, not to allow it because. Uh, Unfortunately, the negative absolutely outweighs any positive that comes from it. Yeah, and one of the things yeah. we've been seeing is um, illegal marijuana grows. Like um, you were saying that yeah. uh, you see a lot of out-of-state license plates. License so plates. what are what are other changes that you want to talk about that that you've seen in the community? Just a lot of like uh, out-of-state plates are coming in. All the uh, crime rates are up. Um, I just think it's negative to to the community and I think that we should um, we should we should certainly take a look at that because that's it's huge it's gonna get worse yeah it's gonna get worse and one thing I tend to talk about is I tell people I was never exposed to marijuana smell or smoke prior to legalization mm -hmm. it wasn't even a topic of the conversation so the pro marijuana people push oh people are gonna smoke anyway so you might as well legalize it right. but my comeback is no you're increasing the usage and you're exposing right. the people and in the marijuana community is a precursor to harder drugs and um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not so much worried about myself, but I'm really worried about my nephew and, and the kids coming up in this community, so. There's some big concerns about the little ones now. I'm worried about him getting addicted to harder drugs just because, you know, they think, and, and I think that most kids nowadays are thinking that it's acceptable now and that it's okay and so I could just see like in high school that they're all getting together and saying, well, let's go to this, you know. A grow house and let's buy this and instead of like when we were young it was you know yeah. alcohol was the thing yeah yeah and now tobacco. it's marijuana yeah and were you all shocked when I told you about how they buy candies and chips and spray them with THC Ab absolutely I mean you <laughs> see you see the initiative now um, just on the tobacco as you mentioned um, and if you go and you look back you know 20 30 40 years and how cool those those commercials were and the advertisements were. I mean, I know me growing up, I thought it was very cool still remembering, you know, the Marble Man and, and yeah. the camel smoking cigarettes and, 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 and it's the exact same thing that's happening now with marijuana but in such a much scarier state because back then you saw it on TV but you still had that challenge. If you wanted to get a hold of cigarettes, you could. Yeah. Um, now, it, it's being exposed to her children with not even necessarily that they're doing it, just completely oblivious to them 
that they're and it's putting them at risk and, and to know that this is being done intentionally um, you know to make it look like harmless candy or mm -hmm. gum mm -hmm. or chips um, it's completely unacceptable and, and, and as, as adults is. you're we're responsible for protecting our children against that um, yeah. and and not encouraging it or, or supporting uh, initiatives or, or politicians that are that are back in this kind of thing to try to cover over saying well you know the money side of it is is gonna balance it out or, or be a greater benefit and bring money to, to the kids what's that money gonna do um, mm -hmm. treat you know pay for their treatment pay for their rehab because it's the money that's initiating it that's putting them at risk in the very first yeah to begin with so what are the costs is what you're saying exactly yeah the yes. costs yeah. exactly yeah, were you going to say something? No, I okay. was just saying that, you know, a lot of these edibles, we don't know what's in them. Yeah. And so these kids are thinking they're getting a piece and of gum, harmless. however. It's got it THC could, in yeah, it. THC, yeah. and that they're, they're going to be, um, and that could just be the starting of their drug addiction. Yeah, yeah. So. They, they, what, this one thing I teach, this industry is so deceptive. And they, like you said, they do it on purpose. Mm -hmm. And they make these products in deceptive forms to disguise you so the youth can use them without the parents really catching on until maybe it's a yeah. little too late. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and there's a, there's a full-blown addiction or a mental breakdown or something like that. I know that was the case in my situation. Um, but yeah, the, to the people of America and other states, we want you to know the industry literally buys candies, chips, sprays them with the THC and then repackages them to, to attract the kids. And then I don't know if you've noticed some of the ads in the Pueblo Chieftain too, with the cartoon characters and mm -hmm. half naked ladies and stuff like that. Yeah. that yeah. I know I don't let my son read the paper anymore. Yeah. I, don't feel yeah. it's a healthy thing for right. him to be it's looking just, at. Right. It's just, it hasn't been a positive thing at all. Mm -hmm. I have yet to find uh, anything positive. I know they try to um, kind of raise, um, you know, bring praises about, you know, some of the marijuana scholarships to, so, but that's touching, you know, a handful of kids. Great, that's fantastic, but you can't tell me there isn't other scholarships out there, that there isn't money, mm -hmm. and, 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 and that's fantastic for those recipients but when you compare that against how many hundreds of thousands of, right. of other kids that are being negatively impacted, that yeah. things that are happening that are, are ruining their, own, their whole lives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and potentially, obviously, you know, leading them down a path that they are going to see an early death. Well, you know, how can you justify that with a handful of scholarships? Or that lifetime of addiction. Yeah, thank you. Going yeah. through treatment. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. Um, you know, thank you for saying that because my son's one of those kids. And so when I see the marijuana scholarships, it it just, you know, I my son would be graduating from Centennial this year and he's not here. You know, he's he's had to go out of state for treatment and he's doing good and I'm lucky, but I've been robbed and I of his teenage years. He I he's been hospitalized four yes. times and mm -hmm. and so I appreciate you giving a voice to the people that have been harmed. Mm -hmm. And and to me, the marijuana scholarship Scholarships are a purposeful way of grooming their future yeah, users. Yeah, yeah. They're normalizing marijuana use so the kids think, hey, when I'm 21 or when I'm close to it, I'm going to start using if I'm not using already. Right. Right. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, would you say, would you recommend any state or community or other country to legalize marijuana? No, not at all. No. Not at all. Would, if there was a chance to repeal, like we've tried one time to yeah. push them out, but we were outspent and we're overrun by these outside mm -hmm. influences. If there was a grassroots movement, would you would you rally the troops of Pueblo and say yes, let's push these drug dealers out yeah, of here? Yeah, I, I would Absolutely. definitely join. Absolutely, and... you know, not only just the state of Colorado, but really our whole nation mm -hmm. is is dealing with such a huge, huge drug problem. For us to take steps to now introduce yet another one and make it more accessible, whether regardless of how harmless people want to say it is, it's you know there's so many other efforts that can be you know we could be putting our money and our effort into not not making another drug more accessible. Yeah, yeah. there's enough right. out there already. Right, yeah. really like investing in the education and our teachers exactly. to develop brains not to destroy brains right. what a concept exactly. right exactly. <laughs> and that's exactly. not happening yes. uh, and I, I just think that like schools you know even when we were young we were uh, anti-drugs and they would bring the dare officers in and now it's like what do you what do you tell the, the youth growing up now yeah yeah, for it's sure. Like, now it's acceptable. Now they're it's this, it's the floodgate. Yeah. Floodgate to open uh, a lot of things that yeah. are going to be bad for and, the community. Yeah.
did you guys know what a dab was? I didn't no. know. Yeah, and they, people don't even know that's what no. we, that's what's legalized. This high potency marijuana has never been st studied before, so the citizens are literally being like a guinea, guinea pigs. Pig, yeah. yeah, they're being tested, wow. and and they don't even know what they're doing, and we don't even know. We know some of the short term effects of psychosis, and the ER physicians are seeing that. We don't even know what the long term effects are. Will they be schizophrenic on the streets? What what will happen? Will they go on to more drugs? You know. Yeah. Um, one last question, and then we'll wrap it up. What 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 is your message to any elected official, whether in locally here in Pueblo, Colorado, statewide or federal wide? What would you say to them that's out there promoting this? Simple, first, <laughs> quick and simple. Uh, think with your heart, not your pockets. <laughs> oh, yes, good so one. Absolutely, take yeah, it. because the, I feel like most politicians are just worried about their pockets getting greased and. I would say, you know, with your heart, think of it as your family. Absolutely. Take a deep, deep, hard look at really how it's going to impact the people that you've been elected to represent. Not the dollars, not the dollars, the real lives, the lives that are being impacted on a daily basis. Um, and, and, and the fact that it's, it's, it has the biggest impact on our youth. Yeah. I mean, if, if we have any hope for any decent future, uh, we need to start making some changes. And in, in, in that's part of being an elected official. Is, is helping make those changes, um, you know, for the people that you're representing. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you guys so Thank much. You. Thank you.